Well, Watches and Wonders 2022 is exceptional in many ways. For us, yes, it's the first participation ever that Chopin has at Watches and Wonders, but it's also now the first uh, physical salon which is uh, taking place since three years. Um, so it's, uh, we are very excited to be here and Watches and Wonders is a unique opportunity uh, to show uh, our products in real life. There's a touch and feel element which we have missed for so long. And most of all, we can interact again with all our friends from the industry and of course uh, our friends from the press. So I think it's essential to have a physical uh, fair uh, maybe along with digital experiences, why not? But uh, I think once a year, a, a salon like Watches and Wonders should, have, should be taking place. Uh, when we decided to uh, conceive uh, what was to be a first uh, automatic caliber, uh, not just any automatic caliber, uh, it was quite innovative at the time with a micro rotor, uh, two barrels and chronometer certified and relatively thin. I did not expect uh, to see what we managed to uh, achieve over 25 years, but it was the first step towards what I could call today uh, independence in terms of uh, technical uh, capacities of building, conceiving movements, whether they are highly complicated, let's like the full strike, for example, our minute repeater, or uh, for a more industrial uh, approach in bigger quantities at Fleury et Bauge. All of this really started 25 years ago with just one caliber. And um, it was a long journey, it was exciting, it's still not over, of course, and um, we are extremely glad that we, we took the pain, uh, because it was painful at times, to, to do, uh, take this step. Yes, we, for the occasion, and uh, it was, again, not entirely planned that way, but we had several chiming watches in the pipeline. And so we decided to present them all together, a, a trilogy, for the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the LUC collection. So there is, first of all, the what we call the Strike One, which is the the initial piece that led to uh, everything striking uh, in our collection. And the strike one, we reinterpreted it here with the Sapphire Gong. Uh, the initial one dates back to 2006 and it was, it, it would strike the hour very nicely, but uh, obviously not intensely and crystal clear like uh, we could achieve with the crystal uh, Gong and Sapphire Crystal monoblock construction. So here is the, the new version, limited edition, 25 pieces in pink gold. And there is an additional function on, on this, already very complicated, full strike. We added uh, a tourbillon, and a tourbillon which is hidden under a sapphire bridge. So the, the sapphire theme is, is ever present. Otherwise, it has the same sapphire monoblock gongs connected with the crystal. And um, it's another addition to what will become um, eventually a grand strike. I'm making an announcement here, <laughs> but I'm not saying much more. And then what really was almost the obvious thing to do, because we have the, the theme of Sapphire, was to 
try and conceive the all sapphire full strike which i'm holding here in my hand and the amazing uh, thing about this watch is you can cons you can observe the movement from every angle it's basically almost like as if you were wearing just the movement on your wrist and uh, there is a not only an acoustic theme, but a visual theme. You can observe every piece, every moving piece, while the watch is striking. It's an achievement, and, and it took a, quite a while to conceive this case, because to, to build this case, it was um, uh, a challenge to actually assemble the sapphire into the sapphire. Um, we would not have thought that we were engaging into something as complicated. But um, the result is, is, is stunning. Yes.